Items to be covered in this section are cleaning the door seal, washer interior, washer exterior, and dispenser drawer. Checking the water inlet hoses and washer storage and moving will also be discussed. When cleaning the door seal, inspect the seal between the door opening and the basket for debris or stains. Owner manuals will have instructions on how to mix a cleaning solution to be used on the door seal. Use this solution as directed in the manual to wipe down and dry the seal. This washer has a special cycle that uses higher water volumes in combination with liquid chlorine bleach to thoroughly clean the inside of the washer. This washer and other washers will have instructions on how to use bleach to clean the interior. After each cycle is complete, it is recommended that the door be left open slightly to allow for better ventilation and drying of washer interior. Clean the exterior using mild soap and water with a soft cloth or sponge to keep it looking new. Remove glue residue from tape or labels with a mixture of warm water and mild detergent, or touch the residue with the sticky side of the tape or the label. The dispenser drawer can be removed for easy cleaning. Press the release lever at the rear of the drawer. The inserts and drawer should be rinsed under running water. The dispenser is not dishwasher safe. Cleaning the washer interior and exterior should be done on a regular basis as required. Periodically, inspect and replace inlet hoses if bulges, kinks, cuts, wear, or leaks are found. Replace inlet hoses after five years of use to reduce the risk of hose failure. If the washer is to be placed in storage, beware that water may stay in the hoses and interior components. Freezing can damage the washer. If storing or moving the washer during freezing weather, winterize it using RV antifreeze. The owner's manual will have instructions for winterizing or preparing for reuse of the washer. If the washer is to be relocated, such as during a move, the shipping materials, such as bolts, should be reinstalled to prevent internal damage. If there is a chance of freezing during the move, the washer should also be winterized. The owner's manual will have specific information. Always refer to the owner's manual of the appliance for specific model information. The owner's manual will have information that covers installation, operation, safety, maintenance, and warranties.